Hey everybody, I'm Greg and uh, here to revisit backpacking chairs, camp chairs uh, for my upcoming uh, uh, first time ever backpacking uh, through hike, section hike, um, up on the Sapir hiking trail in just over a month. So been busy reviewing product and uh, hopefully and, uh, some of you have seen. I've already done a review on uh, several uh, backpacking chairs or camp chairs to take backpacking. Let's hit it again. I'm revisiting the Helinox ground chair one more time, primarily because it's lighter than the rock cloud, but let's, let's talk about this one. So the Helinox ground chair does not have the traditional four leg um, leg system and, and feet. It's got kind of a rectangular framing system and uh, the reason I'm revisiting this is possibly with, with a thought that Hey, if I'm stuck on a rain day or stuck in the tent, then I could use this inside the tent without fear of these feet poking down through the tent floor. Okay, so let's hop over into that one. Uh, and, and before I do, so the other thing that, the one thing that featured that this doesn't have, that this chair does and this chair does, is there's no finger loops to help you pull the seat webbing on and off of the frame. Also, there is no Velcro strap under here to hold all the frame together uh, when it's folded and or to uh, like these chairs to strap your uh, empty bag um, or to store your bag. But it is a very stable chair. Now it's a little harder to get into for some. I've had friends actually fall getting into this chair and because it sits so low to the ground, it's hard to get out. Uh, I saw one individual on YouTube, a uh, reviewer had to actually roll out of it onto her elbow and her knee to get out of this chair. It is a very, very stable chair, very comfortable. Um, you know, I can't complain about that. The features that it doesn't have, again, are the finger poles and there's no, let's say, side pocket like this or you know, a little mesh pocket on the side like this chair has. And so, uh, again, the main reason I'm revisiting this one is it's lighter than the green one by Rock Cloud. Um, again, this one is weighing in at one pound, 6.6 .6 ounces, which is a whole 10 ounces lighter than that one by Rock Cloud from, uh, off Amazon. However, the downside to this chair, the major downside, it's 110 bucks. Okay, so for that reason alone, I think I have two better. I still have, I still like that option better. For the extra weight, I think it's got more features. I'm willing to carry 10 more ounces for the creature comforts of that chair. And it's only 37 bucks. Okay, so let's go back and revisit the, the Rock Cloud. And also the bag, there's nothing fancy about this bag. It's just a cinch sack. There's not even a, oops, I did, did just find it. There's just this tiny little loop here as an attachment point uh, for carabiner to hook it to your pack. So nothing fancy about the bag. Keeps the weight down though. So, but for, uh, for 110 bucks, um, I don't think it's going with me. It's light, but I don't think it's going with me. The Rock Cloud, my previous choice and preference, in which I've been hauling around for the past month or so, and you saw in the previous videos, very stable chair, comfortable chair. It sits up higher. Uh, it, it's not tippy. It's comfortable on this, you know, a, across your tush. It, it's got a nice. It's comfortable, um, and and I forgot that on the Helinox and some of the other chairs. It doesn't stick into your armpits, uh, if I recall from some of the other chairs. Um, it weighs in the chair only at two pounds and six tenths of an ounce for 37 bucks. Okay, the bag's gonna add a little weight to it, but at least the bag does have some features. It's got some loops on each end. It's got some daisy chain webbing uh, across it. It's probably big enough to even stick a few other items in it. Additionally, it comes with let me hop out of there. It comes with, oops, let me go back here. It does have these two side pockets. Go like a pile of water or whatever. Your electronics. 
and underneath, at least on the top two, it's got the finger pulls to help you stretch it onto the frame. Okay, underneath, these are optional, I mean they come with it, you don't have to use it, but basically these are little feet that attach to help you if you're in a sandy uh, uh, or muddy uh, uh, environment, this will prevent these uh, uh, feet on the legs from sinking into the ground. And even these feet are the largest um, of even the chair I'm sitting in and the other Helinox chairs that I, that I tried before. Um, so an added feature, it's about another three, four ounces to, to pack. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna take them with, but it's even got this Velcro strap underneath. So for two things, so when it's in the uh, um, usable position, you know, assembled position, you can store your bag underneath here. And if it's windy, put a little weight in here, put some rocks in there or something, and it'll keep it from blowing over every time you, you stand up. The other thing it will do is when you pull out your legs and fold it away, the Velcro holds all the legs uh, together into kind of one package, if you will. And that's what I tuck in the outside pouch of my uh, pack, or what, what makes it easier to uh, uh, pack without using the uh, supplied bag. So for 37 bucks, that is a great chair, two pounds, a little heavier, but I think for the creature comforts it, it offers, I think that uh, extra pound or 10 ounces or whatever, I, I think it's well worth it, okay? That is until I discovered this chair by Trekology. It's called the Trekology Easy Light, and that's Y-I-Z-I. -I. Hopefully you can see that. I uh, just happened upon this uh, this week on Amazon for a whopping price of 44 bucks. And even the bag itself, got a loop, it's got some daisy chain webbing, so the bag itself has more features than the Helinox ground chair. Okay, this chair as I sit in it weighs one pound nine ounces. Okay, it does have a little mesh pocket over on the side to put your bottle of water in, your electronic, your cell phone, whatever, so it's got an added feature. It does have, <coughs> excuse me, it does have finger poles on all four corners to help you stretch it onto the, to the frame. It's also got that Velcro strap I'll show you in a, in a little while, but it's not tippy. It sits just a touch higher than the uh, Helinox chair, uh, but it's stable. It's stable. Uh, it, it's, for 44 bucks, it's a great chair. Um, so let's take a look at the bottom side of it. So uh, pretty lightweight uh, meshing or mesh, uh, or it seems at least a little lighter. Doesn't mean it's not as durable, uh, that is yet to be seen. But each corner has the finger pulls to help stretch it onto the, onto the frame. And that is, a, I think, a big, big um, uh, feature uh, on these chairs. And the Helinox chairs don't even have that. Okay, well, keeps the weight down just a little bit, you know, by the grams. The Velcro strap, so you can either strap your bag to it uh, when it's in the assembled position, when it's in the assembled and upright position, and if it's windy out, put a little weight in the bag and uh, that'll keep the chair from blowing over uh, each time you uh, stand up. But like the rock cloud I'm sitting in, when you fold up all the legs, uh, for storage, then basically this Velcro strap uh, keeps all the legs tight into one mass, so to speak. Okay. Now, this chair is a slightly different than the other chairs, the other Helinox or the other Chinese knockoffs like the one I'm sitting in, is that the legs go left and right versus here, they go front and back. So the leg system is rotated 90 degrees. And in this chair, because it sits so low to the ground, it, I don't find any stability issues. And again, it's got that little mesh pocket. So for 44 bucks, 
as much as I like this chair, and, and I'm going to keep this chair for 36 bucks. It's going to go in the car. Or, I mean, other. I'm going to use it elsewhere. Um, <laughs> I like the color green. It matches my pack. But uh, for for seven dollars more than this, so 37 bucks for this, 44 bucks for this. My math's right. 37, 44. Yeah, I think seven dollars. Uh, I'm shaving off. Oh, this one was two pounds point six ounces. This was one pound nine ounces. So you know we're shaving off um, oh almost seven, not quite seven, seven ounces, and um, it's only going to cost another seven bucks. So right now I think I'm I think I'm leaning toward the truckology. So again, I just stumbled on it on Amazon. I was looking for something else. Uh, I think I was looking at uh, their inflatable pills and happened to go to their website and found the chair. There's also another chair out there that I, I tried that I, I didn't review or at least via video. Uh, REI had uh, one from uh, Big Agnes and, and I think it weighed like three pounds or something like that. You know, it was advertised as an ultra light, but you know, at that weight class, um, you know, hands down, I'd go with this two pounder I'm sitting in. So, I mean, this is, this is a real toss up. Um, I, I like this chair. I like the features. I like the green. Uh, it's a great chair for 37 bucks. This is a great, great chair for 44 bucks. And it's even lighter. Um, little review or, or a reminder or a refresher course. Helinox uh, has a chair one that I tried. Kind of similar, let's call it similar to this. Sits up a little higher. It weighed, I think, just over one pound, but it cost like 110, 120 bucks. But it was, we probably, of all the chairs I sat in, the tippiest. And I tried it again the last time I was up at REI, they had one uh, on display. And as soon as I sat in it, I would have bought one ass over tea kettle in it. And it, it was unstable, um, and, and that alone took it out of the uh, took it out of the running. So I don't think you can go wrong on any of these three models, but for the price for the weight, I think the new winner is probably for me this Trekology Easy Light 750 uh, for 44 bucks off of Amazon and possibly other places. This Rock Cloud for 36 bucks. Uh, I think this is a great chair for different events, throwing into your car, going to a picnic, a concert, or whatever. Or, even, you know, again, backpacking, camping. This is a, a great chair as well. But I think I'm probably going to pack this one with me um, just because it's a little lighter and I've added just a couple extra uh, creature comforts to my pack. And I've got a small pack, it's only a 40 liter, and I've got it kind of maxed out, so um, I'm trying to keep the weight down. So, hope this helps you out, and thanks to everybody else on YouTube that puts out videos. They've been a big help to me as I prepare for this upcoming uh, uh, hike. And um, so, hope this helps you as well.